מי אני? שלום, שלום וברכה, אנחנו פה ב-UN. Here we are in Geneva. In Geneva. Okay, בסדר, בסדר. I'm going to ask you in English first. Okay. And you can tell the question in Hebrew to your uh, listeners. Okay. So, what do you think of how far we've achieved our objectives so far? Um, yesterday I have a great feeling after my uh, delivery and uh, today um, I feel kind of uh, a little bit pumped out <laughs> of what's happening because none of the delegations so far raised the issue of divorce the internally. They all spoke about Palestinians and, and the, the issues that related to security. Um, uh, the internal affair of Israel didn't rise up yet and we still hope that something will happen uh, um, uh, close to the closing of this meeting. Um, I hope that we're going to achieve something, at least to raise some issues that we came here to raise. One thing that's interesting, Yaniv, is three years ago, when I was here, every member, every committee member, raised the question regarding family laws and human rights in Israel. Right. This time, not one of them has agreed to raise the question. Yeah, Do you I, find that strange? I, 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 can, I can actually think about two options. One, maybe the Israeli uh, uh, delegation actually created a, a, a good uh, diplomatic work in order to prepare what they're going to raise and what not. The second thing is, might be that we, we haven't prepared well enough. We didn't actually prepare the, the uh, committee members ahead of time with information, uh, we didn't uh, 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 did a diplomatic work in order for them to ask those questions and raise it. Uh, and probably because we came in the last minute, they want to use the, ma the the time, the maximum they can on important things that they think that it's important. Uh, probably they think that uh, the problem of Israeli men is not an issue; it's internal. They can basically uh, uh, work through uh, uh, political means in order to achieve what they want to achieve, uh, what the Palestinians cannot do. What did so. you think about the fact that they, um, some of the committee members asked questions about reunification of families, um, the liberty and dignity and rights for children um, on the Palestinian side, and yet those very issues that you raised for the children in Israel were ignored? Um, yes, because I, I, I do believe because the, the Palestinians doesn't have a political power in order to get that and, and the, the Israeli men can actually come together and vote for those people who actually uh, can promote their interest. So basically they say uh, um, you have a democracy, um, the Palestinians cannot use the democracy in order to get what they want, so you use your democracy and do it in your political means. I guess that's that's pretty much if I if I can think about something, I th I can think about this as a, as a reason why they're not raising the internal issues of Israeli men. One of the things that might be an idea: How would you feel about trying to bring the men and the women um, in their NGOs in Israel together for the sake of the children the next time round? Yes, we're probably gonna gonna do a. a for the next time we'll do a preparation work and we're probably going to register at least more than one NGO that will raise the internal problem of Israel and I think that we can we can bring a significant amount of, uh, of interest uh, the next time around um, I'm sure that it's it's preparation 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 we weren't prepared and we did it in the last minute but it's still a great achievement we in the protocol we put the things on the table and uh, we, we raise the issue on an international level and I think it's good, it's good. And our next step will be, following here? The next here. step will be is to actually um, um, use what happens here in, in Geneva in order to raise the, uh, uh, the issue inside Israel. As soon as we come back to Israel, we'll raise the issue and we'll, we'll, we'll prepare demonstrations and meetings We'll try to bring together all the organizations that actually work on those issues and we'll, we'll do the best we can in order to not get it off the table. And one question for your audience here who come from England uh, and America where huge funding is piled into Israel with no awareness of the issues. What are you planning to do to bring the awareness to the West? Uh, 
basically we we need to work on that. That that's uh, basically Achilles' heels in our organization is the, that we um, basically uh, didn't work good well enough with other organization with with uh, other NGOs with uh, funding uh, uh, capability we, we we don't have any funds we were actually coming here on our own expense because uh, um, uh, we think that uh, this is something we want to raise but uh, we learn we learn a lesson from this visit I, I think that we learn a lesson in order to do it well next time one of the issues is that very few people can believe that these sort of things happen in Israel, that contact centers are the highest in the world, the suicide rate is high, poverty is at an all-time high. It's very difficult for me as a Westerner to convince my colleagues, my friends in England and the US, you're an Israeli, you're a lawyer, you believe in human rights. What message have you got for people in the West to hear this issue? Yeah, most of people in America and in England or in the Western world see Israelis as tourists, as travelers, they have money, they spend, they come everywhere, you see them everywhere. But we actually, in fact, we have uh, uh, 8 million people in Israel and not all of them are traveling, a lot of them are struggling, a lot of them don't have the right to leave the country and they're held prisoners in their own country. Uh, and uh, nobody talk about it. Uh, it's a problem. We need to get the message out. The problem is is getting the message out. We don't get any help from the media. The media doesn't uh, uh, bring this uh, issues for forward. And uh, we need to do a lot of, of uh, work in that area as well. Yaniv, it's Marianne here. We are going to keep going. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. Shalom. It. Bye. <laughs>